Hey everyone, I'm Andy Raffel from eTechnics.com and there's a very, very good reason why I'm actually sitting on the floor in my kitchen. Now, I don't normally get excited about ovens, but well, this is a little bit different. Firstly, it's expensive as hell with an MSRP of £1,499. But there is method in the madness. This is a fully smart, touchscreen enabled oven. Just let that sink in for a minute. Now I'm not technical enough to sort of do the whole ins and outs when it comes to the oven portion of this, but we are gonna focus on the smart functions and this great big screen on front. I mean, after all, we are a tech channel, right? The oven itself is typically what you'd expect. There are two detachable handles to assist you for installing it. Coming in at a standard size, it should fit into the location where your old one came out of, which is 595 by 595 by 568 millimeters. Obviously we've got ours positioned down below, but you could actually put this at an eye level uh, if you so wish, which is probably where it's more suited for. Included is the usual warranty leaflet, user guide, trays and shelving. Warranty wise, it comes with a standard one year, but depending on where you buy it from, you could always pay for a protection plan that you pay on a monthly basis. It has an internal cavity capacity of 80 liters and variable electric grill to adjust the temperature. There are five levels of rack height to use and everything slides in and out easily, giggity, on the telescopic runners and can be removed easily as well. Sadly, only one set of runners are actually included. You get two enamel baking trays with this oven and two wire racks, but sadly no handle for grilling, but there's a very, very good reason why. Ventilation wise, this is an enclosed unit with ventilation at the sides and also at the front. So when using the grill, you actually keep the door closed instead of how you'd expect with a handle kind of hanging out of the front. A pretty good design choice, I'm sure you'll agree. Speaking of the door, it does include soft close hinges, but can't be child locked. However, the Hoover Vision is designed primarily to be installed at eye level, as I mentioned, as part of an integrated kitchen design, making it out of reach of children by default. Now talking about the design, the front is made from black glass, which looks very premium. Obviously it is prone to fingerprints, but you'd expect that much like you would on a smartphone, but this is much easier to clean. The amount of times I end up looking at recipes on my phone or iPad and end up getting grease, flour, and other debris all over it, not good. The front also doubles as a giant 19 inch touchscreen, which is powered by Hoover's Android proprietary software. There's a big power button at the top, branding at the bottom, and other than this, it's quite a clean, sleek design. There are multiple elements inside the oven, including the grill element, upper and lower, and also a rear element, which is where we find the fan to assist with cooking your food evenly. Now, looking at the screen, there are actually four modes to choose from. Well, basically, when you turn on your oven, this is what you're greeted with. In manual mode, you simply pick what type of cooking you want, whether it be grill, fan, conventional, you know, you get it. There are also a few special features such as eco, defrost, and even strangely, a mode just for pizza. I guess it really is that popular. I mean, who doesn't love pizza, right? After choosing the mode, you pick your temperature. For pizza, the temperature is preset, which doesn't quite make sense as all pizzas are different. For the grill, it has levels one to five rather than temperature. Then you pick the time and boom, off you go, it's cooking. Personalized programs is where you add your own custom recipes. First, you give them a name and then you pick your cooking mode, just as in manual mode, followed by your temperature. Then you can add additional cooking steps if required to create your entire recipe. Most people actually find they tend to eat the same meals kind of week on week. You normally, you know, would eat chicken on a certain day or, you know, pizza on a certain day. Pizza really is popular. So you'll find that by having these recipe kind of features that you can just simply kind of set it and then every single week just enable it and off you go. Suggested recipe mode allows you to browse a selection of suitable courses organized by food group. Once selected, you can choose the actual dish followed by the portion size, ranging from four to eight people, which is a bit frustrating if there's maybe only one of you or three of you or more than eight, but it is what it is. On meat dishes, it goes by weight instead of portions, but again, you're restricted. On lamb, for instance, it goes from one kilogram to two kilogram. What if you happen to have a smaller piece or a larger piece? Based on all of this, you will finally be given a temperature and a cooking time. Now, one very cool thing here is that for certain foods, the oven will actually switch between different cooking modes during the process. For example, if you pick lasagna, it will bake it at 180 degrees and then it will grill it for 10 minutes to give you that nice golden brown top. 
This is something you can program manually when adding recipes under the personalized programs. There is also a video recipe mode offering a more in-depth guide for selected foods. You can view a text list of all the ingredients along with a text guide to the preparation, making it easy to follow along. You'll then be told the appropriate temperature, time and mode for your dish and be able to just hit start cooking. Now other smart functions that are actually on this oven include the ability to browse the web and view selected websites on the screen, including BBC News, Spotify and Facebook, as well as Wikipedia, news outlets and of course a variety of food related websites along even more. Not having a window in place of the screen means you need another way of viewing your food. Now inside is a HD camera and can provide both an optimal view of the interior and any dishes being cooked. The oven also has internal LED lighting to ensure a good view provided by two large LED strips on the inside of the door. The idea is that you can check on your food without opening the door or letting out any heat. Perfect for dishes like souffle, which is paramount that you don't disturb it unless you want it to, well, sink. The inside is also reflective to help with the heat. Now I do have to be honest here, the camera quality isn't exactly the best considering that it is classed as HD. What form of HD, I don't know. I'm guessing 720. I just expected it to be a little bit better. Connectivity wise, it has the ability to connect via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which brings us onto the app. The Hoover Remote Control app, which is available for both Android and iOS is called Wizard. Let's you check on your food, including the time left and cooking temperature, and also control the cooking from anywhere you want. The app pretty much gives you access to everything that we've just gone through on the front of the oven. Just named slightly differently. Instead of manual suggested recipes and personalized programs, you get Program Wizard, Rapid Selection and Dynamic Chef. The principle is the same. You select categories, food groups, dishes and set or are given temperatures, modes and times. One thing you can do on the oven and in the app is a delay cooking time to whenever you like, a really handy feature that you wouldn't find on a manual oven. Now I need to mention one thing here. You can't actually use your phone until you go onto the oven and press this little button. It will stop all kind of cooking programs and then give you access to the app. Now this is kind of like if I had to get up and walk over to my TV before I could use the remote control. It's stupid and worse for the oven. What if I'm at work and realize I left something cooking? Well, the app is useless if I didn't switch the oven to remote mode first. Very strange. It's also not Alexa compatible, something that I kind of expected being a smart oven. Smart functions aside, I kind of expected a few features that you'd see on lower grade ovens, such as pyrolytic self-cleaning mode. There's also no child safety lock, but this oven is aimed, as we've said, for being positioned at eye level. So in theory, a child wouldn't even get to it anyway, but you can lock the screen functions if you so wish. In terms of efficiency, it's A rated. It's worth mentioning though that you can get an A plus rated oven with self-cleaning for about 600 pounds from well-known brands, but it won't look anywhere near as cool and won't have, well, any of the smart functions. Other key points to note is being a typical oven, it does use your standard 13 amp fuse spur, but it does need hard wiring. So you would need to get an electrician in if you're not confident in sort of wiring in electrics. I did this myself, but obviously getting an electrician in is just going to add to that extra cost. Speaking of cost, the MSRP on this oven is £1,499, which is pretty eye-watering, but it is actually available on sale at the moment for around £1,167 from the likes of Boots, uh, AO.com and Curry's. So definitely worth checking out to see if you can find a deal on it. So I've been a bit harsh and critical due to some lacking features and the pricing, but it is a talking point, so it will act as the hub of your kitchen. And we're also told that a second version is coming later this year or potentially early next year, which will hopefully improve upon what we've already have. And there's talk of actually integrating it directly with other appliances, such as a smart fridge. What this will actually do, or what we're told it's going to do is kind of work in conjunction with the fridge. It will scan all of your ingredients inside the fridge and then on the oven, it will give you kind of indications as to based on the ingredients you have, what kind of meals you're able to cook. I mean, this is the start of something extremely special. Imagine coming in late, you've been at work all day and you just say, Hoover, what can I cook? It scans it, tells you, you prepare it and in it goes. How simple can that get? Now, some of the criticisms that I do have on kind of the smart functionality, I actually feel that they could potentially kind of update through a firmware upgrade. So I don't think they really need to change anything hardware based on this oven. It should be, you know, an over the, over the air fix. So it should be quite simple, but 
I'm not entirely sure how Hoover kind of do the updates on this oven. Hoover have also told us that they are dedicated to bring a whole host of smart enabled devices and appliances for the home. And I feel that the vision is a good start. It's unlike anything I've ever seen or used. And everyone who comes into my home is pretty astounded by it. I mean, it definitely gets people's attention. As soon as they walk in the door and they see this, they actually wonder what it is. And that's when I have to tell them it's my smart oven. Now, one key thing that I do want to say is I've actually had this oven for quite some time. I feel that it's kind of a product that you can't just kind of use and do a review on. You kind of have to use it in your day to day life and see how it benefits you or if it hinders that kind of aspect of your life. And honestly, I don't think I could imagine going back to a non smart oven. Yes, it's a little bit clunky. Yes, it's kind of missing a few features, but I mean, it's still got more features than what you'd expect from a normal oven. And personally, I actually think it's maybe worth that extra price. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know exactly what to do. And let me know in the comments section below, what kind of smart appliances have you got in your home? And would you pick up a smart oven? Hopefully this is a start of, well, something really special. Cheers guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. My legs hurt, my ankles hurt, my everything hurts. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I have suddenly turned Dutch. You wanna go for a schmuck? And be able to just simply start hit. Nope.